Okay. So our feet are hip width apart, coming into mountain pose with our ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up. So get everything evenly distributing your weight across the balls of the feet and the heels, both sides, and all the way up through the bones, up through the crown. Keep stretching that spine apart. Oh, and don't forget to activate your core. So ribs are towards your spine and up, and shoulders back and down. Take a moment focusing inward, breathing, exhaling any stress or tension, and allowing your inner focus to be your yoga perspective. Inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back. Stretch out to the front, keep your shoulders down. And then exhale your hands behind you, clasp the fingers gently and press them down, lift your heart. Spread your toes, stretch your head back, feel that upper body back bend, and then pivot at your hips, exhale all the way over. Head down, hands up. Move your chin around, get the neck released a little bit more through the back of your neck. Lift your sitting bones, stretch the back of your legs a little bit more, stretching the whole body. And then with your chin slightly in and your knees slightly bent, start at the bottom of your spine, wind all the way up, and lift your heart. Drop your shoulders, stretch your head back. So again, upper body back, bend as deeply as you like. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, just feel a little bit what's going on through your whole body. And bring your arms again to shoulder level, stretch those fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, keep stretching up through your head, and bring your arms out to the front. Exhale, the hands behind you and clasp in the opposite way. Hands toward the floor and chest up. And again, stretch the whole spine and the back bend and then pivot over. So deepen as much as you'd like, feeling where you need that today. Again, just release any tightness. And again, moving your knees slightly forward and your sitting bones down, lift your heart into that, again, upper body, that bend. Stretch your head away, the whole spine lengthening. Inhale, upright, release your arms. Take a moment again, feel the circulation increase, energy flowing through your spine, and get ready to stretch your sides apart. So let's keep one hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, lean over to the side. And as you do that, push the foot you're leaning away from down, feel the ribs stretch a little bit more out through the crown, through the fingertips. Make sure you're still facing the front, no leaning forward. Inhale up, exhale back into mountain pose. Bring the other arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand above the shoulder. Stretch apart, lean to the opposite side. And again, foot down, hand and head stretching the opposite way and opening the ribs. Take a moment and breathe. And then again, inhale upright and release. Stretch the spine apart, base of the spine, base of the skull, stretching in opposite directions so you've got those rib vertebrae open for our twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders and clasp your elbows. Bring your arms next to your ears, stretch that spine apart, and twist to one side. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can, and exhale over. So again, do what's right for your body, but keep the weight on both feet as much as you can. Arms stay next to your ears, sit in bones and lift, and just deepen into that twist forward position. And then staying in the twist, work your way up. And as you get to the top, lift your heart, coming into only the upper body for your back bend. 
always gentle on your low back, arms still by your ears, elbows pulling back, and shoulders pulling down. Take a moment feeling that upper body back. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, and switch your arms. And again, stretch the spine apart so we can twist to the opposite side. Another breath. And exhale over. Weight still on both feet as evenly as you can. Take a moment breathing, noticing what's going on in your body. And when you're ready to come up, keep the weight on both feet, keep the arms by your ears, and stay in your twist, coming into the upper body only for your back. Take a moment there, lifting your heart and breathing. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Arms up, shoulders down, extended mountain. Reach the fingertips toward the ceiling. And then come up on one side, lifting the opposite heel. So the side you stretch the foot stays flat as you're on the toes of that opposite foot. Feel the ribs again, expand a little bit. Exhale that side down, inhale the other one up. And again, just as much or as little as your body needs on this side stretch. And then both feet down, both arms up. Keep the arms next to your ears. Let's hook the thumbs and bring the arms back by your ears. Stretch it out, pivot at your hips, come parallel to the floor. Push out through the fingers and your head and back through the sitting bones. Parallel to the floor, stretch it out. And then drop into ragdoll and just head. Take a moment there, breathing, or deepen it with the hands behind your calves and pulling in your heart toward your thighs. Take a moment there, stretching as much as feels good. And then arms back to the center and one more roll up. Make that whole spine work its way individually all the way up. And again, back into mountain pose. As you get back into your standing position, spread your toes, stretch your spine, and bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling, look at your thumbs, and pull them back for another back bend. So lifting your heart, stretching your spine, this time, strong guy forward, so arms at shoulder level, palms toward the floor. Pivot until you're parallel to the floor, stretching it out. And again, drop into ragdoll, deepening as much as you like for that hamstring stretch on the back of your legs. And then slide your hands up under your knees and straighten your knees, elbows, and spine. Halfway up stretch, just keep lengthening. Breathing, and then exhale, releasing back into radio. Straighten your knees, straighten your back, bring your arms at shoulder level straight out, finger palms toward the floor, and pivot up. Keep the arms at shoulder level, notice if they are, and then turn the palms up, bring your hands overhead, another nice back bend, and exhale into mountain pose. As you get back there, take a moment to breathe and step as wide as you'd like. So as you come into your wide leg position, feet are facing the front, knees are also facing the front, so no twists on those knees, be gentle with them. Sitting bones toward the floor, hips open, shoulders facing forward. Bring your thumbs into that hip crease and just again, Pivot your upper body till it's parallel to the floor. Stretch the sitting bones back and the crown forward. And just take a moment breathing and lengthening through your spine. Spread out through your toes. Get the weight even into both feet. You can keep those knees slightly bent if you've got knee issues today. And keep the spine as straight and long and stretched apart as you can. Take a moment and breathe. Just feel that lengthening of your body. Feel that core supporting your low back. So don't forget, ribs toward your spine and up toward your heart, keeping that core working for that low back support. And then slide your hands down onto your shins. 
bring them right under the shoulders to the floor if that works for you. Or you can always bring those blocks under your hands to raise the floor. We're gonna do a little twist. So remember, stretch the sitting bones and crown apart and keep that neck stretchy as well. We're keeping the right hand on the floor, bringing the left hand out, look at it, and keep that palm open to the side as you turn your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder, looking to the side. Take a moment, stretching in that twist, and looking up toward the hand. Hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning slightly to look toward the side, or further up toward the hand. And again, you can keep those knees slightly bent if that's working for you today, or keep them straight if that's working for you. Take a moment and breathe. Those of you who love a twist and want more, bring your right hand to your left foot and pull that hand further behind you. So try to keep those arms right across from each other. Stretching the spine so they can twist. Breathing into it, maximizing or minimizing whatever your body needs. And then if you go beyond straight up and down, come back to where you started and exhale the hand back, either to your leg or the floor. And again, stretch the spine apart, feel that twist energy through the whole spine. And of course, yeah, we're going to balance the body and twist the other. So sitting bones and crowns, stretch apart. Hand stays on the floor, left hand, and the right hand out to the side. Look at it as you rotate your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder to turn, and look toward the side or up toward your hand. And again, remember, don't just turn your neck. The whole body, whole spine is going into the twist. Take a moment there. Breathe into it and maximize or minimize. If you love more, left hand to the right foot and bring that hand even further behind you. But that whole body, remember, has to turn as you do that, not just your shoulder. Take a moment, lengthening and moving as far as you like for your twist. Stretching the spine apart as you do it so those bones have a room to twist. Take a moment, breathing and stretching. And again, if you went beyond straight up and down, come back to your straight up and down position. And then exhale, follow your hand back to the floor or your legs. And again, lengthening the spine as you're there. Stretch it apart. You can bring your hands to your hip joint and pivot your body further. Or you can turn your hands, fingertips to the back and walk your hands through your legs and pivot that way. So whichever way you want to do it, just bring your body head further down toward the floor with the spine still stretched apart and straight. So remember, if you're really flexible, you may make it to the head to the floor, but the rest of us won't. Don't worry, just go where you need to. And then bringing your hands back either to the floor under your shoulders or to your shins. Take a moment there and stretch. And then bringing your hands to your shins, slide up, pivoting back into standing mountain pose. Take a moment there, just breathe as you get back into your position. Everything lined up. Take a moment to breathe and Let any tension in. Hands back to your heart. Inhale, spread your toes, lift your heart, and look at your thumbs. Another back bend for those of you who love them. Stretching back, looking at your thumbs, keeping your hips over your ankles, lifting your chest. Exhale, pivoting up, hands to your heart, and then pivoting at your hips into your ragdoll. Just hang a moment, arms down toward the floor, knees as straight as they need to be. Lift your sitting bones for that back of your legs stretch. Again, slide the hands up under your knees for that halfway up stretch, lengthening and keeping the elbows, knees and spine as straight as you can. 
And then bending your knees, we'll come to the floor for our transition, coming into child pose, breathing and relaxing. If you've got knee issues, remember you can pad between your calves and thighs or heels and hips so those knees don't bend quite so much. Forehead toward the floor, shoulders relaxing down. Take a moment to breathe, just letting everything in the back of your body get a good stretch. And then inhaling, sit up and bring your legs out to stand position. Take a moment there, pressing out through your heels, up through the crown, and keep the knees straight up as well. So those sitting bones are behind you, the core is active, supporting your lower back, and your shoulders are right above your hips. Take a moment there in staff position to make sure that everything is alive and activated. Take a moment and breathe. Bring your arms straight out from your shoulders, palms toward the floor, fingertips reaching out, but shoulders down. And stretch your spine apart. We'll do another rotating twist. So your whole body is turning, keeping those arms as close to straight across from you as you can. Now one hand comes toward your front foot and the other one straight back from you. Now your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder are turning. So remember, both sitting bones are not planted. One of them is going to come up a little bit as you twist. Take a moment there, stretching. Keep those arms at shoulder level as much as you can. And then push your hand forward, pivoting a little bit, hand toward your toes, but still at shoulder level. And then back straight up. Shoulders, shoulder blades down, crown high, pivot back to the center. Go ahead, release your arms for a moment and breathe because we got to get ready to twist to the opposite side. So again, stretch those spines apart. Bring your arms back to shoulder level, palms toward the floor, shoulders down. Press out through your heels, keep those toes and knees up, stretching the spine apart. Exhale, and again, one hand comes toward your foot, the other one behind you. Take a breath, keep those shoulders, shoulder blades down, but the crown up, the fingers reaching out. Everything's still at shoulder level as much as you can. And again, pivot slightly at the hips, pushing that hand toward your toes even more, keeping that arm behind you still at shoulder level as well. And then sitting back upright, exhale, pivot back to the center. Shoulders are down, fingertips reaching up. Bring them palms to the ceiling, overhead, and to your heart. Back in mountain pose, no staff position. Just take a moment and breathe. Feel that whole spine even more activated, and don't forget to breathe. And let's bring the feet to the end of the mat. Knees straight, toes up, core activated. Spine stretching up with the shoulders right above the hips, and then use your core for support to come way to the floor. As you get all the way down, just take a moment to breathe and relax. Shoulders toward the floor, hips open, toes up toward the ceiling, a little reclined integration. Just take a moment and breathe. Exhale any tension. Tension out and let your whole body just sink into that surface beneath you. Bring your arms to T position, palms up, and sitting bones to the knees. Shoulders, shoulder blades down, hands, palms up at T position, getting ready for another twist. So take a moment, sitting bones toward your heels, back just gently pressing down. We're going to bring the right foot all the way up to the ceiling. Flex the heel, push the heel up and the toes toward your head, and stretch the whole leg as straight as feels good for you. The other leg still, toes up, knees up toward the ceiling. We're rolling all the way to the left side, bringing the foot to the floor, the hands together on the floor. Keep your head on the mat as you roll. If you need a pillow to do that or a blanket, feel free to bend. 
and hold your foot with your left hand if you can. Otherwise, put the left hand on your leg. Keep the knee as straight as you can for your lower back twist. And bring your right hand up right above your shoulder, palm open. And keep it at shoulder level as you bring the back of the hand down toward the floor behind you, looking at it through your neck area twist. So gravity will bring your arm as far toward the floor as your twist wants to go. And again, if you've got any knee issues, just bend the knee slightly as you're in that position. And that will alleviate both the knee and a little bit back your low back or your twist. Take a breath. Exhale, letting the hand come further toward the floor if gravity hasn't already pulled it down. Just let the twist happen. Remember, never force it. Just allow twists always at your own pace. That's the only tension. Let the shoulder come down as far as it wants. Right, reaching toward the floor and out. Letting that middle back twist as much as it wants. Take a breath. Exhale any tension that lets the ligaments release out holding your spine and allows the twist to deepen maybe even a little further if you want it. Take a breath or two, just holding it and relaxing. And when you're ready to release, let go of your leg and foot. Bring the leg back up toward the ceiling, flex the heel, and use your core for support again as you slowly lower the leg. When it gets all the way down, just take a moment to breathe, feel what's going on in your spine, in your body. And of course, we're going to balance and twist to the other side. So again, feet are hip width apart, sitting bones slightly toward your heels, getting that back gently pressing down, core activating, arms, palms up at shoulder level. Bring your left leg flexed up to the ceiling, Remember, you can bend the knee and bring the leg up if that works better for you today. And again, pressing the foot to the ceiling, knee as straight as it needs to be for your body today. Hands, palms up, rolling to the, what is this, right side. So foot coming down to the floor, hands together in front of you, keep that head down, down over here. And again, raise the foot and bring the hand onto it if that works for you. Otherwise, hold the leg. And the left hand right above the shoulder, palm open. We're lowering the back of the hand toward the floor, right at shoulder level. Remember, don't bring it toward your foot or up toward your head, but straight back so that shoulder and heart area stay nice and open. Your hand may stay in the air if it's tight in that middle back or arm and shoulder area, but let that happen when it's ready. Never force anything in there. Turning your head, neck area twist again. Do what's right for your body. And if you're holding your foot and pushing it away with that hand on your foot, you'll get the maximum low back work with the knees straight, but do a gentler version if you need to. Always exhaling, just relaxing into your twist as your body is ready to do it. Take a moment to breathe, tension out. Exhaling in any tension. Deep breaths, just relaxing. And then releasing your foot or leg. Again, roll all the way onto your back, bringing the foot straight up toward the ceiling, activating that core, working it as you slowly lead with the heel to lower the leg to the neck. And when it gets down, just take a moment feeling your body, noticing what is working in your body today. Hands are T position, palms up, bring the thumb into your finger and your fingers wrapping around your thumb into a little fist. And then turn one down toward the floor, the other one up. Keep pushing out through the fists, up through the head, out through the heels, toes up toward the ceiling, and then rotate, turning the fist the opposite direction. So the one that was up goes down, and the one that was down goes up. And just keep rotating those fists, one up and one down, pushing out through the fists, 
feeling those hands and arms starting to work a little bit. And then bring it, the arms all the way up to the elbow into that rotation. Feel what's going on there. Keep pushing out through the fists, up through the head, out through the feet. And then bring the whole arm all the way up to the shoulder, rolling the whole one up and the other one down. And as you're doing that, notice what your shoulders are doing and kind of maximize that now. So as your hand goes down toward the floor, bring that shoulder slightly up and press the other one down. And as you roll the other way, rotate and do the opposite. So that one with the hand fingers going down, the shoulder goes up, and otherwise it goes pressing down, shoulder blade and shoulder into that surface beneath you. Keep those legs as straight as feels good for you with the toes up and the heels pressing out and activating your whole body core. Gently pressing down, sitting down slightly toward your heels as you work those arms and shoulders. And then releasing the shoulders, just bring the arms into that rotation. Just a little bit more gentle. And then leaving the upper arms off, just the elbows down to the fists, rolling. And then finally, just the fists. Pressing out, moving back and forth, rotating. And then push those fists out and bring both palms up towards the ceiling. Open your fists, just gently stretching those fingers wide. And then release, bring your hands down to tipus or to near your hips into corpse position. So coming into corpse position, Sing them slightly towards your heels, back just gently down. Exhale and then release everything with it. Or deactivate, softening and sinking. Let your feet rotate toward each other, toes together, and then just relax your lower body. Hands, palms up. I mean, the shoulders really sink into that surface beneath you. Put your head side to side, relax your neck. Release any tension, come into a neutral position. Relax your jaw and your face. Take a moment. Take a deep breath in and then crunch your toes together, crunch your fists together, crunch your face together, tighten everything. Tighten your hips, your legs, your arms, your shoulders, your torso, your face, and everything scrunch. Hold it a moment as you hold your breath. And when you exhale, just let everything release any tightness. Let your body sink into that surface beneath you completely heavy and relaxed. And let your body go. Just let the earth support you. Letting all your muscles release. And as you relax your whole body, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your mind. No need to think about any parts. And no need to think about any other thought coming to you either. Just let the thoughts drift in and out as easily as your breath. No need to focus on the past or anticipate the future. No need to think about any content of the thoughts. Just let them drift away as easily as your breath. And as you let your body release, Deep into that earth support. And your mind just drift, floating away without attention. Allow your awareness to turn inward. Focus deep within, finding that peace, always in your awareness. Deepening awareness of the peace in your body and your mind. So let the peace prevail, focusing only on peace. Breathing peace, being peace.
Keep that relaxation of AQ is really good. Just keep relaxing. And if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the body back to the moment with the body to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Breathing and stretching more fully as you become ready to do so. And when, of course, you're ready for your final yoga leg of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels and heels toward your hips, draw your knees up toward your heart, wrapping your arms around, giving yourself that appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.